Hello and welcome back and today I want to continue my comparison of the different NAS brands that you can buy in 2019. My last video was Synology versus QNAP, a very, let's be honest, very common comparison that I, among many people, have been doing. However, one comparison that I don't mention enough is QNAP versus Acer Store. I have mentioned it on this channel before, but these two brands have a lot in common. All too often, you know, again, I'm as geary as anyone else, QNAP gets a lot of the limelight when it comes to people that want to have a, a 4K NAS or an HDMI enabled NAS or remote controls and multimedia and audio and stuff like that. But Acer Store is a NAS brand forever working in the background that is gaining a lot of ground. And in 2018, we saw a number of software innovations that now have been brought forward with their hardware innovations in 2019 are going to make them quite a force to be reckoned with. And because of that, I want to make this comparison video. This isn't going to be like a lot of my other stuff when I have a lot of screen recordings and stuff like that, because I've done a lot of that recently. What I want to talk about today is just using my experience based on all the analysis I've seen in the past and use it to give you a better informed opinion of one, which one of these two brands is right for you right now, and two, where these brands are going to be going later this year. So, let's get the comparison pie out of the way. Let's talk about the first big one for a number of you, price. Which one of these two brands is better for you for budget? Well, unusually, it's very hard to make a comparison. Both of these two NAS brands have a very similar ethos when it comes to hardware cost. They use very similar hardware in terms of uh, the CPUs and the ports and the chassis that are available, a good common mix of plastic and, uh, and aluminium chassis, as well as the LEDs and the trays and stuff like that. They're very, very similar indeed. I would argue that Acer Store is a pinch lower in price once you compare CPU against CPU. That said, there are a number of killer features that are still only available on QNAP. So, although sometimes if you are going to compare the CPU, the memory, HDMI output, and the number of bays and rate support and stuff like that, they're very, very identical with Asus Store taking the lead. Once you look at the things that you can't compare, some of the features like the speakers and the audio out that you only get on QNAP, then the balance of power shifts. But we'll leave that for later on when we talk about hardware. For now, price for price, it's almost a draw, but Acer Store do win with a better um, pricing structure overall. And they have uh, their two and four bay units, they have a number of ranges there, as well as a 10 GBE solution that is lower than pretty much anyone else out there right now. If this video was Acer Store versus Synology, this would be a very different discussion. But in terms of QNAP versus Synology, they do take the lead on price. But um, moving over to hardware, I already touched on it a little bit there, but I'll continue with it. In terms of hardware, they're incredibly similar. They were among the first two brands to have HDMI uh, 2.0a, uh, although Acer Store did give it to you first, and in a less, you know, in a cheaper box than QNAP. Both of them were the first ones to arrive with remote controls, but I would argue QNAP's remote controls significantly better. Um, they both were the first on the scene to use the new J3455. It's become uh, pretty much the standard. Um, base level CPU found in NAS, a quad core Celeron, but they were all also both the first to use the dual core version, uh, that Celeron J1905, uh, and that new 4105. Uh, they're, they're just loads, they're the first ones to crack a number of hardware things out there. So, in terms of hardware, you're kind of getting a similar thing. But what I would argue is QNAP still give you more. They've still got more features in development and currently available that just aren't available on Acer Store, such as Thunderbolt connectivity for a start. That's a big, big one. Um, on top of that, you've got that um, ability to have multiple HDMI ports there on the rear and direct access via USB. A number of QNAP NASes have got a USB port. So although the majority of NASes found with USB ports, they're used for like slaves and external drives, a number of QNAP devices have a USB port, USB-C or USB-B micro, that let you directly connect your PC to your NAS and configure directly without using the network or the internet. Um, in terms of hardware, again, I'm going to give the edge to QNAP. Not because what they do um, like for like is better because they have exactly the same hardware and CPUs and ports almost most of the way but QNAP gained the winning streak here because they've just got extra they've had more time to develop those things Acer Store who knows whether they'll catch up I don't think they'll ever have a Thunderbolt NAS but they do have um, affordable 10G solutions and more on the way um, 
In terms of software, this is a peculiar one. Because if this video had been filmed a year ago, it would have been cut and dry QNAP wins. QNAP have the uh, QTS 4.3.5 uh, software, but moving into 4.4 now, and Acer Store had their ADM software. Um, so QNAP have much better first party apps, I would say, although both of them support a number of third party apps. Whereas in my previous comparison, when I compared Synology and QNAP, I stated that Synology has better first party apps with QNAP with better third party app support. The same rule exists again, with the role slightly reversed. QNAP have much better first party apps than Acer Store, but Acer Store has an incredible third party app support. I mean, some of the homebrews, official, and of course some of the unofficial stuff knocked around in the background are phenomenal. They've got support there of things like Skype in a far more stable fashion. They've got Netflix support. They've got um, a far brighter range of Kodi applications, although some of them have been removed from that store. Um, they arrive with VirtualBox, which again, although QNAP has Virtualization Station, which is great, the VM uh, you support you get from VirtualBox is much greater. It can do everything Virtualization Station can do, but it also supports things like Hackintosh. It supports um, bespoke um, OSs and you know real custom-made user environments that can be created um, within their virtual environment. That with the QNAP, you either have to mod, except they're not going to play or you're going to have to run it as a container or using a Docker application or a Linux uh, station application from QNAP. But either way, virtual environment, you have a much more bespoke option to you with Acer Store than you do with QNAP. That said, the QNAP app is a lot more stable, a lot more user friendly, and it's a first party app as opposed to Acer Store relying on that third party app. One other point I touch on for 2019 would be that um, the ADM software from Acer Store, a new version has been released in beta that supports BTRFS. Now this is a huge deal. I don't know why QNAP have still yet to enter this. They've got ZFS and they're far more enterprise devices, but they've never entered into BTRFS. And with BTRFS, with its file healing, uh, background check management and fluid RAID abilities, I don't know why QNAP haven't gone down this road, and Acer Store have. And with their new beta, you've got a greater um, 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 and a far more bespoke uh, means to have that user environment. Don't get me wrong, it is still a file system, so therefore it's in the background, but still nevertheless, to me, mm, I, I, I'm going to give Acer Store that point for that one. Overall, QNAP win on software. They do. They, I mean, QNAP have got better first party apps available to you for home business surveillance and more. And although both of them have a whole host of apps for desktop clients, for the NAS themselves, and for iOS and Android, both of them have got about 10, 12 apps, there's still more on the QNAP in every regard. And that's why they win in terms of software. Which brings me to support. In terms of support, this is where things get ugly, because I hate to badmouth their brand, but there's no denying it. The Acer Store support is questionable at best. They don't have a big enough presence outside of the East and part of America um, to really compete with QNAP on this level. Although both of them have got the same warranty options, with Acer Store often having three years of warranty on a number of their units, uh, whereas QNAP Almost all of them have two years, apart from a few enterprise ones. Um, with Acer Store, they don't have enough bases and HQs and operational centers in, their, in more countries to help customers who have problems. And although they have longer warranty options, if you do have a problem, it's going to take longer to get that resolved with Acer Store, with them almost always telling you to go back to the company you've purchased from, and then that company is going to have to deal with Acer Store, which is effectively the same thing with an extra day slapped on the either end. Um, worse still, if you do need technical support, with smaller teams from Acer Store, that means that even tech advisors that are going to have to remote access your NAS are nowhere near as prevalent as they are with QNAP, and therefore this can cause delays later on. So QNAP win almost out of default because of Acer Store being a little weaker in this industry, which is really bad given the size of their brand and their partners. Um, but in terms of support and services, I'm going to give this to QNAP because they are a bigger company that's only getting bigger this year. So 
Those are the main four ways I would have compared these two brands, which brings me to 2019, where are things going to go? Well, QNAP have already, you know, their existing flagship B series and a number of devices have already been out there for 18 months, coming up on two years soon enough. So we're going to be seeing their new range soon. And I reckon we're going to see a lot more SSD caching and 10 GBE and options like that. They're really going to innovate. And what they need to do is really focus on that software to help people make the most of their hardware rather than bang out more hardware. Acer Store, on the other hand, they have not released much um, for us to go on, apart from that AS40 series, that cost-effective 10 GBE now series, a number of months ago. We've not heard much from them. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, that's up to you. But they better start letting people know soon about what's up and coming, rather than do what they did um, le mid last year and update the CPUs and existing services. Because don't get me wrong, it's still good to have up-to-date hardware on existing ranges, but people will get fatigued from that. And what they want to see is a brand new exciting release, something I'm hoping they're going to give us. But this has been QNAP versus Acer Store for 2019. I might do an update across all of these brands in a single video late in the summer, but for now, right, if you are looking for the best value for money, Acer Store. But in almost every regard, QNAP wipe the floor with them. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video if you enjoyed it. We don't have a Patreon. We don't go with donations on this uh, YouTube channel. So this is really supported by knowing what you guys like so I can carry on. And don't forget to take advantage of the free advice section below in the comments at NAS Compare. Free NAS advice, home, business, private, it doesn't matter. We will help you. It might not be the quickest service, but we'll give you as much free advice as we can for your data storage needs. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.